Look at this. Wow. Epic. So, this one is the one I'm really interested in. This is completely original. I heard the controller was replaced in the 50s, but obviously virtually the same exact design. All relays, you see these relays are massive. Got a DC gen set right here. Selectors is position controls. It's supposed to like have leveling assist, but it doesn't work. But that's how that would work. And then here's your machine. And the other ones have gone through two mods. One in the 60s from Hot and then another in the 80s from Miller. That's where these controllers came from. You see, the machines are virtually original, just repainted a bit. Beautiful machines. Sadly, I can't get any action out of here. I'm here after hours, so no one's riding them right now. But they just enjoy getting to see this beautiful equipment. Wow. The beefiness of this controller is insane. Never seen anything like it. Wow. These are huge. Even got West of Celebrate Lubricants got a lot of history in here. This building is over a hundred years old. Kinda surprised it's running non-stop. They recently repaired it, so it was having issues last time I was in here. Mainly on a bit of bearing issues, but it's fixed. All oh, this equipment. This motor's been rebuilt before. They were not really gonna get any action, but let's take a look at the main ones you see. Here is your transformer. And more transformers. Safety governors. These are some really old governors. Look at them. These are the flyball style governors. Complete the original. This is the motor. So your commutator brushes in there. Armature field windings. Brakes right there. Achieve. That's how it tracks the speed it's, at. it's added on from the new controllers. Not really new, from the 80s. Most places would have modded them another time by now. Especially that um, service that's fully original. Wow. Oh, we got action. There we go, finally it shuts off the contacts. These controllers are really cool. Glass in them. Here is your drive. That's your DC drive. Contacting equipment. The gold contactor back there. Another drive, this one looks like it's under repair. And another controller. And here is the group manager, group supervisor. This, when you push the button, this is where it tells which elevator to come. See, oh yeah. Big old CRT. And that computer, who knows how old that thing is. Oh wow, <laughs> that is cool, that's some cool stuff. Modem, wow, that looks like a dial-up modem, it's like a trip to history here. 
some incredible equipment. Look at the back here. Back of that computer. The back of more stuff. Here's the back of the actual main controller. See a lot of little relays in here. Things are mostly relays. A little bit of microprocessors. Not like the new stuff where it's all microprocessors. Back into the drive, see the CR drives. That's what they use on these DC motors. Same old. I'm unsure why it is clicking like that. I have to look into it. Might just be something these controls that I can't be healthy for the relay just to be going non-stop. Wow. This is epic. These are beautiful machines. What type of these? Type 70. 24 horsepower, 90 amps, 240 volts, 127 RPM. This type 70 machines. These things are a work of art. Do not make them like they used to. Motor could use a little work, but these things still run nice and smooth, even with the age. You see, look at the size of the brake solenoid. Wow, that thing is just massive. It's enormous. It's crazy, these machines are over a hundred years old. And they're still running smooth. And that controller. Not quite a hundred years old, but it's getting there. The uh, reason why I keep going behind stuff and like stopping randomly is because I'm getting a bunch of pictures. It's nice and cool in here, it's not burning up, but the only thing really producing heat in here right now is this DC genset, which kind of surprised it doesn't have an auto shut off. Definitely using up some electricity there. Hold on, let me see how much it's using. Type seven and a half. 25 horsepower, 1200 RPM, 220 volts, 65 amps. Yeah, it's definitely gonna drive up your electric bill. This thing's just running non-stop. But it's better than it kicking on and off all the time, apparently. That's what originally caused it to have issues and need to be rebuilt. Got action. That governor. That is cool. This thing will happen. This thing spins too fast in an overspeed um, incident. Um, the tension, it'll lower the tension and eventually the balls will just fly out, which will stop it in place. Pretty simple method for safety braking, but. It works. With these governors being over 100 years old, it's clearly still a reliable method. Because even some new um, Asian elevators like Hitachi and Mitsubishi, they still use some of the same flyball principle on their new elevators. It's pretty crazy. 100 year old technology is still being used till today. Wow. This is just beautiful. Absolutely incredible to see this stuff all original.